Welcome to today's service in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I say good morning and welcome. It is a wonderful day, a day in which indeed the Lord has made and will rejoice and be glad in it. Call unto me and I'll answer you. I'll show you one mighty and wonderful things that you do not know. Those are the words that we may trust as we begin our service today, the 10th of May in the year 2020. We are going to start our service by singing hymn number 13 from our Bemba hymn book. Hymn number 13. Please make sure that you let us know where you are, you know, are following the service from. Share the feed, share in the groups, and give us the feedback so that together we can worship God and not so that we can know here what is happening where you are if you are getting the feed loud and clear once again we are live it's the church online from St. Matthew's congregation right in Lusaka Bye. 
deserves our praise and our worship. So this morning, let us join together in the prayers of adoration, thanksgiving, as well as confession. Right in your home, in the comfort of your home, and wherever you are following us from, I encourage you to just begin to thank God, begin to praise him, begin to honor him. He deserves our praise and our worship. Let us just pray. Father, we thank you for today. We realize that some are dead and others, almighty God, have no chance even to come in your very presence and to thank you. But in your mercy, you have allowed us to see this day. In your mercy, you have allowed us to come before thy throne of grace and to come and worship, Lord. May your name be glorified. <laughs> Tuwa kunkula kuchipuna chobe cha ulesa Ukutila niwelesa we mwine matotelo Niwelesa we mwine malumbo Niwelesa we walingo kushinshimuna Indeed we come before thee knowing very well That you are God who died on the cross of Calvary For the redemption of humanity We thank you that indeed almighty God we are saved Because of your death on the cross of Calvary and we realize that almighty God, because of that sin, because of that death on the cross, even our sin has been taken. As we confess our shortcomings before thee as families, individuals, as a church, and as a nation, O God. That mighty God in your mercy forgive us and heal us, O Lord. We know your word says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, seek my face, turn away from their wicked ways and pray. I, the Lord, shall hear from heaven. Forgive their sin and heal their land. We are crying unto you because we know that if we say we have no sin, then we make you to be a liar and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So this morning we surrender that Lord let the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now we lift this worship service before the Lord. That in your mercy Lord meet us at the point of our very need. Indeed heavenly father let your anointing flow in us O God. That our father will be able to minister the word with no, with, without fear no favor. But we are able to speak that which comes from the throne of God. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Once again, you are welcome to St. Matthew's congregation in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I will invite now the worshippers just to come and uh, give us a song as we continue in our service. Make sure that you continue to share the feed as we worship together online. And I encourage you that may your faith grow as you follow us because with God, there is no distance. And God can use anything and en anyone, you know, to bring about his salvation.
this living God. We're just going to worship the Lord in this place. Let his name be glorified even as we worship him. Our desire is that even as we worship him, we may be uplifted in our souls. Praise God.
Thank you very much for that powerful worship. Indeed, we want to see you, God, face to face. And that is our prayer and that is our belief that indeed God is going to be seen in our lives as he touches our lives one by one. You are welcome. If you've just joined us, if you've just tuned in, if you are yet or if you are tuned in, invite someone let someone know that the service is on you can share the feed there are options or share in a group share to your page share to on your wall so that others can follow the service you are welcome we're live from the united church of zambia st matthew's congregation let us now attend to the reading of scripture and our scripture reading this morning is taken from the gospel of mark chapter 10 and we'll start reading from verse 46 to 42 the gospel of mark mark chapter mark chapter 10 start reading from verse 46 and we'll go up to 52 imbilan suma Ya kwa mako. Tualata mpoku velenga pa 46, elo tuise tufike pa 52. I want to believe that uh, you, you are following and I want to believe that obviously the scripture is right there and it should be scrolling and you are able to, to follow. So let us attend to the reading of scripture. I'm using the English standard version. Mark chapter 10 and I'm reading from verse 46 to 52. And they came to Jericho as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd and a great crowd but Mars, a blind beggar the son of Timaus was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him and telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabbi, 
let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him all the way. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him all the way. Here ends the reading of scripture. So for those who may have just missed and you found us reading, I want to believe that if the, script, the, the scripture is not scrolling down there, then you can please take note that we are looking at Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to 52. Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to 52. I will invite again the worship team just to come and give us a song so that together we can worship God. God is ever present. So therefore, it's a very powerful worship song. And uh, join us right in the comfort of your home where you are. Join us as we worship Epoali. Mumpidi na mumi poka poka. He is there and is very present. Yeah. 
Shama, and indeed he is always there when we hit the lows of life he is there and the highs of life he is there when we are weak he remains strong when we are unfaithful he remains faithful he is God he is ever praising welcome once again let us pray May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable unto you, our rock and our redeemer. And may the word that shall be spoken be your word, O God. Through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. I greet you once again in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I say good morning. Today I am encouraged, at least I can see a few people here and also I know others are following uh, who are online and uh, you are welcome as well it is encouraging to see that uh, you are following and you are eagerly waiting for the word of God God is good all the time and be encouraged just as the worship team or the praise team were singing Emuali, indeed he is there I want us to encourage ourselves today on a theme that I have entitled Shout Out for Your Salvation. Shout Out for Your Salvation. Shout Out for Your Salvation or Cry Out for Your Salvation. Shout Out or Cry Out for Your Salvation. Cry Out for Your Salvation or Shout Out for Your Salvation salvation ita nangupunda pepo sukilo liobe lidila pepo sukilo liobe shout out for your salvation or cry out for your salvation salvation is freedom from bondage salvation is freedom from bondage and today as we look at the theme shout out for your salvation we are not just going to look at salvation from a context of being delivered from sin but we'll look at salvation from a holistic perspective meaning that we'll be looking at salvation as a word that simply talks about freedom in a life of an individual. It could be physical freedom, 
spiritual freedom, economic freedom, or political freedom. So from whatever angle you may be bound, we want to look at salvation from that angle. And blind but mares, in this case, will be, classic, uh, uh, be a classic example of an individual who was saved after crying out to God. So salvation is freedom from bondage, and I have laid the foundation that we are not just going to limit ourselves, or we are not just going to look at salvation from a theological perspective only, but we are going to look at salvation from a broader perspective. Others have looked at salvation as preservation from harm or unpleasantness. Preservation or preserving from harm or unpleasantness. That could also be seen as salvation. I can take an example. If an individual is very hungry and an individual is in their need of food and then an individual comes up or a person comes up and gives that person food we are able to qualify to say salvation has taken place but in the context of hunger someone who was about to die from hunger has been saved and obviously we cannot attain we cannot have salvation if there is no savior so in this context the person who gives out food is known as the savior because that person has saved or is the way in which this person has found the much needed freedom hallelujah i hope you are still online and i hope you are following but in the passage that we have today let us look at what mark is trying to bring to us in the first place the gospel of mark is more concerned with what Jesus did than what Jesus said. Other Gospels are more concerned with what really Jesus was saying, but when it comes to the Gospel of Mark, we note that Mark is more concerned with what Jesus did. And so it's straightforward to the point. As we note that as Jesus continues with his ministry, we note that in this context, now he is you know uh, coming from jericho and when he comes you know he's going to jerusalem on it he's from jericho and going to jerusalem and along the way the, the the multitudes are following him the crowds are following him the disciples are there and so now a setting has been done as we note that now we are introduced to this blind beggar other versions will call him a poor beggar i want to believe that blind but was always there begging in the morning probably you know would wake up be taken there and then begins to beg for money and that was his life but this day was a bit different this is a different day we are told that this blind beggar heard people shouting you know he sensed that there were a lot of people and someone was passing by and then he asked what is happening and then people told him jesus of nazareth is passing by jesus of nazareth is passing by he did not waste his time he began to shout but please note the difference the crowd told him jesus of nazareth is passing by but look at the way he calls he does not go to say jesus of nazareth help me but he brings out something that is so big he prophetically speaks and says son of david have mercy on me there are two different things that we can note from there the crowd is saying jesus of nazareth and we know that nazareth was a small village 
And obviously, as the saying was common, that nothing good can come out of Nazareth. And so when they were saying, the crowd, the crowd was saying, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by, probably that could have meant he is just somebody who's passing by. He's just this man from a small village of Nazareth. But within but mayor's heart, the Messiah was there. As he uses a messianic title or a Christological title, as he says, Son of David, have mercy. Remember, it was foretold that the Messiah will come from the lineage of David. And so when he says, Son of David, what blind but mayors was saying was saying messiah in other words he used a messianic title and the messiah was to come to the jews and bring about deliverance or salvation hallelujah i hope you are following as i try to bring out the the, the comparisons between the crowd and the blind but mayors the messiah was believed that the messiah would come to the jews and rescue them from their suffering and so when blind but mayor says son of david he was simply saying messiah please touch me jesus son of david help me he is not saying jesus of nazareth he's not belittling and this is what happens when someone has got faith God was able to open his eyes and he was able to see that he was the Messiah. Though physically, he could not see. Hallelujah. And we note that now, as it is in the society, which is the case even now, the people, some of them started saying, you are making noise. You are disturbing him. Obviously, they looked at his physical condition. They looked at this person as just a beggar, someone who's got nothing, somebody who has been there, and probably others even knew his background well, and they were saying, Nifin show you. And obviously, I want to believe that even among the disciples, as it is the case, you know, when we have we are we, we, we are always found with people who are privileged in society, who are powerful in society, there are times that we can deal with and that is the case sometimes because society will look down upon certain individuals there are certain individuals that society feel these are the people that can see those who are in that class and this is the case now that i want to bring to your attention the case was that this is just a blind beggar this person is a nobody and this person is just deceiving the teacher the teacher should pass by the teacher should continue not knowing that this one in as far as his opening eyes were concerned was even more open than them there are times that we are blind because we think what we know is everything and yet the more we claim to know the more we expose our ignorance the more we become blind we become blind and so Jesus heard this man's shout and stopped and says, Who is shouting? And they, they said, Blind but mares. And he stopped and said, What do you want me to do? I don't want to believe that Jesus never knew what was happening. But he wanted this man to be open and speak out. 
It is not always the case. Remember, scripture tells us that even before we ask, God knows. Even before we say it, he knows. And so I want to believe that this was just something that Jesus had to do so that this person can speak out a challenge that I want to bring to ourselves that even us, we must not take things for granted that God knows, but we must learn to shout out. We must learn to cry out. We must learn to speak it out. And so Jesus says, what do you want me to do? And blind Bartimaeus was so uh, sure of what he wanted. He did not even miss the words no babble around, but he says, I want to see. Therefore, I am ukumona. And again, look at the word that he uses. He says, Rabbi, teacher. Probably, I want to, to believe that probably the information was going around. So, ale umfwanga, ale lomba, ale landoktila, kwa liba yesu, wakunazare, tuuposha. And he uses that word. He says, Rabbi, meaning teacher, I want to see. I don't think even those in the crowd had this faith. I don't want to believe that uh, even these, I mean, his disciples were at the level of blind but mayors in terms of faith and in verse 2 we uh, 52 we note that jesus now responded to him and said your faith has made you well and immediately he recovered i don't want to dwell so much on faith but i just want to look at how things were unfolding with regards to uh, for us uh, to us shouting out for our salvation I know we are bound in so many ways. Spiritually, we may be free. I know the argument will be, if the Son of Man sets you free, you are free indeed. That is true from a theological perspective, from our faith and from our teachings. That is very right. But there are times that even when we are, you know, uh, spiritually free, but in other words or in other works, in other, in, uh, in other aspects of life, we are still bound and we need to call out for our salvation. Hallelujah. Go, your faith has made you well. According to Jesus' statement now in 52, he does not say, I have made you well, but he says, your faith has made you well. Meaning that there's something that we can draw from Bartimaeus to say, yes, faith is a key ingredient in us <coughs> receiving our salvation. I'm sorry. In us receiving our salvation or being free, there is need for us to have faith as but Bartimaeus has demonstrated. But let us go back to our subject. Shout out for your salvation. Remember we said salvation is freedom from bondage or preservation from harm or things that are and please and so what can we note out of this i have three things that i want us to share and point number one as we talk about shouting out for salvation i want us to start with the theme the subject today as our very first topic that if we are to receive our salvation then we must learn to shout out we must learn to shout out and shouting out to people who can serve or things that can save. Number one, we must learn to shout out or cry out for salvation. But as we do so, it must be to things or people who can save. 
mweba temu kwa muri Kristo tufuiletu asambilila ukulilila pe pusukilo yes uyu ushale mwana batmea si uyu ali shive okutila ati uyu ule pita ewi nganka kulafie ewi ngalenga ino kuba umuntungwa blind but me as knew that the man who is passing is sensed it in the spirit physically he was not able to see because physically he was bound he was challenged he was not able to see and that is almost that is the case in which we find ourselves yes there are times that spiritually we are okay our antennas are, are picking and are connecting but physically we are bound but the challenge that we have we do not know who to call for us to receive a salvation chimonobwa fuilisho ngolefu ayenda la moku kongola mweba temu ikwa tetuye kuli kapusunsu munobe kuya kuli uyo wako batina usha te ali beula at least nga waya ala kwafwa tetuye mkulu kule kesha kuli kapusunsu munobe if in tutafia babu ino elo nomba walunda pona yowa ya mku ilundi kanya kuli kapusunsu munobe ukatuwali lilo kukakwa ne pusuki lo tali akabepo this is the case so he knew that he was bound and he could not help himself and so he called out to the messiah no wonder he uses the messianic title say son of david because he knew that the rabbi the teacher definitely the teacher will save him and make him free as you are shouting out the big question is are you shouting out to people who can help or you are shouting out to people who are at your at your level are you shouting out to things that can bring salvation or you are shouting to things that has got no means to bring about salvation there must be a sorter meaning there must be a savior in order for us to be saved and so even if i speak theologically yes if i am bound in sin then i must look up to the savior and in this case jesus the son of david must be the one who must be brought in context for me to receive that salvation look at blind but may as he is not seeing physically but the people who were seeing are even belittling the person who was able to perform miracles uku mwana bale mwana but tabale ilu koku mfwa bale mfwa but tafile ingila batila uyu ni yesu waku nazareth lelo ena atila uyu ena ni mwana david meaning that is a messiah uyu ali subwa kuti anka kula where are you calling from or who are you calling in the times of your trouble ni nani muleita nango ni nani muita shout out to people who can save shout out to things that can bring about salvation remember we are talking about holistic salvation if you are hungry shout out for people or cry to people who are able to provide if you are financially handicapped shout out to people who are able to help you in that regard is it lack of wisdom shout out to people who are able to bring about you know are able to counsel you and bring you to a point of wisdom number two people always try to shut you up people will always try to shut you up when you are shouting out or when you are crying out when you begin the journey of shouting out for your salvation always know that there will be someone along the way will be saying ni finish na imbo mule chita inga imwe ene mule ya kuisa elo imwe nga mwato nto nga nyaba wiso na ba wiso ba wiso na be nefyo baati inga imwe fi mwatampa imwe tu alimishi ba mwale shapo kushani elo mwatampa imwe tu alimishi ba if you mwa bela ku if you mwa ba ni fifine elo wakalema takaleka that is what people say they have this syndrome and even when you are dreaming big they will even say continue dreaming dreaming is free of charge sivale sakulota ngati mufuna munga pitirize mungo lota chape tikuzivani kulibe kwa menza enda that is what people say and this is a scenario that we will see in the context of blind but mares when he is shouting others are saying you are making 
noise. Leave the master alone. Leave the teacher alone. He is busy. But child of God, I want to encourage someone to say, keep on shouting. There will always be people who say, no, you are making noise. When they say that, please shout the loudest. loudest. If you can manage, go on top of the hill. Shout even more. If they say you are disturbing them, disturb them even more because it is out of you crying out and standing out that your salvation will come. Hallelujah. Salvation is not for cowards, child of God. Just like deliverance is not for cowards. Deliverance, salvation are words that can be used simultaneously, but we must know that salvation and deliverance are for the board. Those people who do not look around, but those people who have made up their minds and they know what they want, people who say no matter what happens, I don't care. I am going to shout out. I know who I am. I know where I want to be. I know where I want to go. I know what is in me and nobody is going to silence what is in me. Begin by believing in yourself first because people always say you are not going anywhere. This was the case but blind but mayors knew what he wanted. He was so positive that he wanted to see and he knew that it was only the Messiah who could help him, Jesus the son of David, so he did not allow these other voices to sing in his mind he did not allow these other voices to be in his bones and marrows, that they defeat the purpose of him being saved and walking to freedom, he was so focused, I challenge you today, stand, rise cry out, and when they say you are making noise continue making noise when they say you are not doing right, keep on trying. One day you'll get it right. God is always faithful. He is God. Not everyone will see what you are seeing today. And that is the secret of success. Nobody knows what you are seeing today. And not, and not everyone must understand what is in you. It has to start with you. Bambi opo muli apu muli ebo mba kwa liyaba le miwa tamwa tamwa kabombe. Bambi wale miwa batida imwe tamwa kopwe ko imu. Imu ni matirio ya okote na panganda. Oye si bambi opo badira. Pantu kwa liyaba sumau tu sabu loto kwa batina mwewe ni nanga mwalo leke sha mwale tino kwende la chapa mu. Ukuti la wale onse kutiba liyaba le kupuafye market. Kutu wawafye chilengwa na lesa iwe. But that was then and where are you today and where are they today that is the reality of life there will always be people who try to shut you up refuse to be silenced shout even more let us go to the last part of our text when we go to the last part I, I want you to note something in verse 52 and Jesus said to him Meaning after he has stopped and he's gotten his attention. So blind Bartimaeus has gotten Jesus' attention. And I want to believe the crowd now had stopped making noise. Obviously, everyone was anxious to see what is going on. And then Jesus said, what do you want me to do? And he simply said, I want to see. I want to see. What do I want us to pick? The point that I want us to pick, which is our last point, is that Jesus stops at anyone who calls in truth. Jesus stops at anyone who calls in truth or who calls with a willing heart. Jesus stops at anyone who calls with a willing heart or in truth. For your cause, the problem that we have when we are calling on him when we are shouting out for our salvation we are so confused there's no problem with us being confused but it is where we direct our confusion so bambi nolo tule ita amana ya lifu kumbi tule tontonga ya pali fimbi tule tontonga ya pali bambi so kuri yesu ya bafu kwa tikuesha kofye ok le keni tuesha kofye habena yesu nga kutiba nga kutiba atu wafo tizaye sako since 
takangi wasivichi dika apa peve manje sizae sako kuli mulungu no 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 he stops actually don't belittle yourself some people always think no i am i, I am the worst sinner iwe kwa baba rebe mbuka iwe obo yeso ayerera iwe 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 woku bembuka ko boko akwi bafe shuga munganda eh to alishwa tulume mbuta kwa bolu kuluta kwa bolu nono but kwa baba anto aba beula elo bambi aba bembuka ma holy sinners chibusa tashimone kafie baba bembuka fe muchilo muchilo Omo beke, tu membu fio tuwa, utuwa chinda mafio tukulu tukulu. But God still stops at them and they wake up in the morning and they pretend and they go about. In fact, sometimes when you look at them, you know that they are even successful more than those who are even toiling in the presence of God. I want to encourage you that he stops for your cause. Keep on shouting. Don't belittle yourself. Whatever people have said about you to say, you are nothing, you are not nothing. You are not something. You are something. You were created in his image. You are a representation of God. And so when you go to him with a willing heart, with a heart that wants salvation, he will stop and when he stops he will still ask you my child my daughter what do you want me to do for you and then pour out your feelings to him in truth and in spirit and say lord i want to be saved enough is enough i have been bound there are chains all over me physically i cannot progress economically i cannot progress spiritually i cannot progress lord i need your salvation and when he stops he will just speak one word and he will say your faith has healed you and deliverance will flow that is god and that's the way he operates but the other thing sometimes i want to latina pantu mwa unfwa mamo ba pepa sana elo mwa tila ewo unfwa kofie chivusa alo unfwa pope ne wa imini na eh kwa baba mbe wako ba tinga tuwambo kupepa kutu tuwapu isha 30 minutes to unfwa fye ifo ba 30 minutes na ba one minute ala unfwa na ba di abe eno we chalo ta chipenda ena la ba penda ba kwe nika chema musuma he is a good shepherd and he stops and for your cause in fact son the psalmist says he does not sleep no slumber he who watches over israel does not sleep no slumber so he who watches over your life beatrice does not sleep no slumber i don't know karishina kaisa fiyako ichalo chabane mipamba kuti wakutunga nyati beatrice ni nani kaisa fiye he does not sleep no slumber beatrice or margaret he does not sleep no slumber he is awake and he stops for your cause Nambu abantu chalo chatila chikuti tikishe wilawa ukutila ale minina. But be clear with what you want. Ngari pusukilo kufia kuka kefia mulupwa. Kumweba fia mulupwa e fia nkaka. And he will come through. He is God. He is the son of David. I challenge you today shout out for your salvation. He is God. May the good Lord bless us all. I will invite the worship team just before I pray that let us just give us a song together. And you people who are here, a few people who are here, I would like you to rise to your feet. And I want us just to cry out to God for the salvation of our families, salvation of our church, salvation of the nation with regards to what is happening now. We're just going to worship Wherever you are watching us from, following us from, I invite you, just join us, and then I'll be praying for you, and I'll be praying for all of us here as we conclude. I just want one song, and I would love just us to sing It's a song that really has so much uh, theological meaning to us, and stands the test of time. Di kala mbeshi na liya akwe. Adi tula yoku pususha chachi ne ala pususha.
So as the team is worshiping, Hallelujah. in the comfort of your homes, worship. Ikalambe sinalien, ikalambe sinalien, o imemu lesa, ikalamba, ikalamba. your name oh God for this word but as we come to the end of our service we pray that Lord our desire is to continue to cry to you yes. with willing hearts for we know for our cause you stop by Thank you, you listen to us 
Bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 So in closing, we are going to sing a closing hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, hymn number 51. What a friend we have in Jesus. Yes, we have If you are a member of St. Matthew's congregation, please be on the lookout. Uh, we have received the third pastoral letter from Synod and we'll be able to communicate when the leaders meet and uh, advise you know, the direction that will be taken. So please remain calm. The information will come to you. This is where our service comes to an end. Join us, uh, uh, join us on Wednesday for our midweek service. Uh, and the service starts at 17.30 to 18.30. So make sure that you keep on sharing the, the feed so that uh, other people can like the page. And to members of St. Matthew's congregation, please uh, wait. The information will be circulated. The information will come after... The leaders have met, yeah, your leaders from various sections and uh, the minister's office to chart the way forward. So we'll be able to communicate. As out of now, we have received a pastoral letter, the third pastoral letter. So I cannot just go on to give out the details, not until uh, we sit down with leaders and then we'll be able to communicate. So please be on the lookout as uh, we, are, we are going from here. Let us pray. May the blessings of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore, one God without end. 
Amen. Shine. Yeah. 